Amanda Jackal, also known as City Kid on KidsDews.com. I'm here at the 67th Annual Tony Awards Red Carpet Event, and I'm so excited to interview the stars. Now I'm here with some cast members from Bring It On The Musical. So, hi. So how did you fall in love with performing? Oh. Gosh, what a great question. We haven't been asked this one yet. I what did the musical Annie in the eighth grade, and I moved to a new school, and I was like, I'm going to try something new. And I caught the bug. I used to listen to the uh, Phantom of the Opera record, which you probably don't even know what that is when I was little, and I used to sing along in the kitchen, and that's how I ended up here. <laughs> I remember playing Christopher Columbus in the story of Christopher Columbus in my first grade play, and it was my first lead role ever, and from then on, I had to be the star. <laughs> Didn't always stay that way, but... <laughs> I played Peter Pan my junior year, and I was a boy, but I still fell in love with it. <laughs> Do you have like a dream role? A dream role? I, if there was a revival of Peter Pan, that role is amazing to me. I would love to play that again. I would love to be Mrs. Lovett and Sweeney Todd someday. I think something awesome is going to be written in the next five to ten years. I'd love to get my hands on something new, just like Bring It On. I love Sideshow. I'd be happy to play either sister. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I'll swap. <laughs> Do both, maybe. Thank you. So on Thursday, I talked to Neil Patrick Harris, and I asked him if he thought Miss Hannigan or Miss Trunchbull would be a be be better babysitter. Who would you rather have babysit you? Oh, boy. Neither. Can you take that one as an answer? Cause OK. They both me, so <laughs> neither. OK, thank you. Congratulations. Now I'm here with Shalita Grant, who's nominated for Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike. So do you have a dream role? Um, I'm playing it, actually. This is it. This is, this is it. I reached it. Do you have like a craziest audition story? Oh yeah. When I auditioned for my first high school, I auditioned um, with A Raisin in the Sun, and I played both characters, and I did a scene instead of a monologue, and I slapped myself in the audition. They let me in, though. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, good Bye. luck. Now I'm here with Rob McClure from Chaplin. So, how did you fall in love with theater? Oh God, I, I, I started doing the plays in high school, but not because I thought I was any better or worse than anybody at it, it was just another fun thing to do. Like I did the bowling team in the winter and then I did the play in the spring. Um, but I slowly realized that there's a sense of family and a sense of camaraderie in theater that you don't get anywhere else. Um, and I, I really quickly fell in love with that. And then I saw a bunch of shows, and I remember there was a show called Sweeney Todd that I saw, and I, I, that was the first show where I thought, like, I don't know how I'm going to do this for the rest of my life, but I want to do this for the rest of my life, you know? Is there anyone particular that you would like to collaborate with next? Oh, my gosh. There are, I have thousands of people. Every time I see Tom Hanks at one of these things, I just think, I, I'll play a waiter in one of your movies just to get to talk to you on camera. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, sure. Now I'm here with Will Chase from the Mystery of Edwin Drood. So you've also done a lot of TV. You were on yes. Smash. Smash. What, um, how is it like different doing theater and TV? Well, theater, you go from A to Z every night. You do eight shows a week. It was weird when Christian Borrell, who was on the show with me, we, we finished some of our first scenes on Smash the first year, and you're like, we never have to say those lines ever again. It was really weird. But then you kind of like that. So then when you come back to theater, it's an odd discipline to get back into, but it's a lot of fun. You have like a craziest audition story? A craziest audition story. I remember once when uh, Dance of the Vampires is years ago, and they said, bring in a funny rock song. Not many funny rock songs. So I did something from Aida, but it's a duet. And at the duet part, I raised my hand and my accompanist sang with me. So we did, we all lead. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. No one behind the table laughed at all. They looked at me with that deer in the headlights, crickets. I was like, thank you. I walked out. So it didn't go well. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck tonight. Now I'm here with Lilla Crawford, who plays Annie. Annie. So can you tell us the story of when you found out you were going to be Annie on Broadway? Well, I basically, my agent tricked me into coming into um, my agent's office because they didn't want to tell me, oh, you're coming in so we could tell you about Annie. They had to make up another story. So they made up this crazy story and they got me there. I mean, I kind of fell for it. And then, I mean, when I got there, they set me up and said I was going to do a commercial. And um, basically, they started asking me like really, really random questions. The commercial, they said the commercial was about dogs, but it wasn't. And so they started asking me really random questions about dogs. And then finally, um, they said, so how does it feel to be Annie on Broadway? 
and I was just that was just probably the most confusing moment of my life because I mean I haven't I haven't heard anything yet and then finally someone screamed you got the part and it was just the happiest moment of my life it was so exciting and I'm having so much fun with it how did you fall in love with performing well, I mean, I've always had that bug. I Ever since I was little, I would always sing and dance around the house, and so I've always wanted to be, I mean, if somebody asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up, I would say I want to be on Broadway. And so it's always been a dream of mine, and it's just, it came true, and it's just a dream come true. Thank you, congratulations. It's been an amazing night here at the Tony Awards red carpet. I've met so many legendary people, and learned so much about them. So make sure to tune into my videos on kidsies.com.